I try on a daily basis to remember to stop and look, um, to stop and reflect. My brother died before I was born due to complications with Down syndrome and the message that was given to me from my family was that this kind of created space in the world for me and uh, with that gift I was given the responsibility of trying to make the world a better place, uh, particularly make the world a better place for young people and children that were born with uh, either physical or uh, mental or emotional challenges. I saw that there were gaps in opportunities for young people and the young people that I was working with in inner city, uh, urban, underserved neighborhoods were not getting the same services and opportunities that young people at the private schools that I was working at got. I worked with kids at the YMCA and I, I really I really liked that. I didn't really see it as a job, I saw it as playing. and. Um, I started dabbling in that out here in Los Angeles, and uh, when I met Brad and learned about his background, I thought, wow, this would be a really fun way to make a living. I've got a kind of a personal mission to, to help kids as much as I can. That was a big piece of uh, why we started ARC. ARC is an after-school and experiential education provider. It's experience, it's opportunity, it's community. Every youth serving organization and every young person has a gap in their learning adventure, their learning circle. Our job is to go in and find where that gap is and literally bridge it. So ARC is a bridge. Uh, not an acronym. So we kind of come at education from the perspective of we have to start with giving these kids a hug and telling them they're, they're awesome and making them believe in themselves and identifying that one strength that they have or those few strengths that they have and really building them up around those strengths. Now we work with over 3,500 students on a daily basis and uh, over 20,000 different students over the course of a year. You just see a tremendous change in, in them becoming a leader. And before, you know, they they were shy, quite often, or not willing to participate. And now they're they're leading activities. And and to me, to see that transformation is just is just uh, inspiring. Our team is our greatest asset. The staff that work for Arc come from the communities that we work in. They have amazing stories. I grew up in Mexico, I came here to the United States, and it was really hard for me to adjust to the system, not knowing English, not knowing any friends, not knowing anything. And for me, ARC was always there, giving me a hand, giving me the opportunity, giving me the chance that I needed. For each young person and for each client, ARC is something different. Our model is to go in and become a solution for a school or a youth group. ARC really provided the help that I needed. They provided tutoring, a place for me to go after school, and they, they gave me a chance for me to become a leader. Now that I'm a team leader, I can relate to these students. Our, our staff members really bring out the best in our students. I'm really thankful for that chance, and here I am, just giving back to the community.